All right, uh, so this is a quick follow-up video to uh, just the video I did here this morning. Uh, this is more of a technical video because I always get an armchair expert at the grinding station here. So uh, just to avoid the, the obvious question, why I don't have this table loaded up more, is I'm doing finished grinding. Uh, we tried a bunch of different compositions of wheels, and this is what works best with this size table, this size wheel, this circumstance. So the parts, how I put them in here, has them in the most optimal path for the best crosshatch pattern, the most uniform down feed, and the most consistent result for uh, achieving the thickness I want. When you put too many parts on there, it's harder to get the exact thickness and the nice finish because your surface foot changes as you run in and out of the optimal area of the table. So we get a worse crosshatch pattern. Uh, it grinds more aggressively here toward the center of the table. And that's just not what I'm going for. The reason you're seeing these extra stencil holes here is for rough grinding preheat treat. Uh, when the steel's in the annealed condition, I can put a lot more parts on this table. And so we have wheels optimized for annealed grinding and hard grinding. So that's where you're seeing extra uh, slots in the stencil right now that I'm not using while we are doing finish grinding. So if you didn't know, now you know, and knowing is half the battle.